All right, Wolfpack, we're back, and in this one, this is a night session, and it's going to be a night session with Love Bites. And in this episode, we're going to get into Love Bites, Epilogue, Don't Bite the Dust, Daughters of the Dawn, live in Tokyo from 2019. So, without any further ado, let's get into this. Okay, I know I paused it right away, but sorry. I had to I like how this one's starting already. Um it's it's a it's a bit different from the last few that I've been reacting to where it's been on like really intense from beginning to end. So it's kinda cool that they're like breaking out the acoustic and <clears throat> uh making this feel more personal. Uh and um, lighter to start with like maybe they're building into something that's going to ramp up with the tempo and everything later on in the song but uh, it's nice to get this acoustic styling in the beginning as like a little change up that's really nice uh, we're going to back it up and dive right back in You know, <clears throat> it really kind of gets lost, but Asami is an incredible vocalist. And these soft, um, subtle vocals that she's given in this song are really incredible. Um, it just goes to show you how talented she is. Insanely talented she is. And I love this, this slower pace to this whole song so far. It's really a completely different side from Love Bites that I, I didn't even know that they had. And it is so, so cool. It really is so cool. Um, but um, I backed it up. We're going to get back into it. I just wanted to point that out because I think in the grander scheme, Asami's vocals gets overlooked a lot. I mean, for me anyway, because I'm... I'm not saying I over I never overlook them because she blows my mind on the regular guys. But I'm talking about <clears throat> in music in general, her voice is really unique and there's nobody like her in, in the entire music industry. And the fact that not many people know about Love Bites and don't know how talented these women are is insane to me they should be getting way more airplay than what they're getting they, sh they should be um, but anyway we're going to get back into it you guys <clears throat> Success. 
with the song yet it's incredible this this is blowing me away completely i mean all of their songs have blown me away completely but this is insane i the only thing that i can liken this to is i don't know if if all of y'all are gonna know this but it kind of reminds me of like an 80s power ballad it really does i mean it's 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 phenomenal the composition the uh, solos, the shredification on insane levels, um, the intro being so delicate and acoustic, it's, it's, it's hard for me to wrap my mind around right now. It, it is incredible. It is everything that I look for in a song, especially a rock song when I listen to a rock song. This has everything in it and it's incredible.
And just like that, the whole vibe changed. Like it completely changed. The the guitar solos were insane. The back and forth between those two is just always incredible to see. They always shred to insane levels. Um, and then this whole tempo change right here in the last little bit of the song. This is insane. I'm going to back it up. Insanity. <clears throat> the insane amount of shredification in this song is, is insane. And the insanity is insane. They have had now multiple different spots of different solos, and it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, and we got a shout out Miho on the bass, tearing it up.
that was that was crazy that was crazy <clears throat> that was an entire roller coaster ride that wasn't because roller coasters you start off you start off kind of slow and you kind of creep up and you build up this this big hill and then you finally get to the top and you're like oh it's so pretty up in there and then, and then you're into the oh crap what was i thinking <laughs> except you don't think that about the music like you're like oh crap this is intense and it's so awesome it's rocking my face off that's what you think about when yeah, you listen to I'm this in the background on the couch watching my tv show and all i hear is screaming and i'm like what yeah, so she had to come check it out oh, yeah. because she heard the awesomeness from the couch while she was in the living room. But yeah, but it was insane. Loved every minute of it. Loved every minute of it. Can't wait to get to the next one. <sighs> Can't wait to get to the next one. Um, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Go in the if you hadn't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and go in the comments. Give me some more because this one came off the request. This came out of a request. Somebody sent me sent me the link, gave me the link where I could just click on it and pull it right up and go right into the reaction. Love doing love bites. Their their songs are their songs are really unique because. You okay. never really know what you're going to get. You know that you're going to get awesomeness and intensity and, and shredification on intense levels. But you never know how it's going to be presented to you. And that is the whole crazy nutshell ball thing that's going on that is like a surprise. And every time you open it, it's just like, ah, awesome. You're always left with awesome. And also, I'm never in the videos, but I am always over there on the couch while he's filming. So I'm always hearing it. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm she, over there on the couch watching my true crime, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, because she she loves love bites too. They, yeah. they I should probably be in more videos. They completely so shred, and I love it. I but love, 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 love the drummer. Yeah, she she loves the drummer. Loves 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 the drummer. Uh, I think they said her name is Haku. Haku. I think that's what her name. If if I'm right. And her name is Haku. Please let me know in the comment section. Because I'm, I'm gradually learning their names. I know Asami. I know Miho. She's on the base. And she plucks the thing. That, I mean, just kills it. I love it. And I believe I've learned the drummer's name. I think her name is Haku. If I'm right, let me know in the comment section. But that's going to do it for this one. This night session with Love Bites. That was the epilogue. Don't Bite the Dust. Daughters of the Dawn. Live in Tokyo 2019. But that's going to do it for this one, you guys. I'll catch you on the flip side. Oh, I'm kind of in the background here. Yeah, kind of. Hey. We'll catch you on the flip side.